introducing the sharpest, most versatile, and affordable, perspective-controlled tilt-shift lens option for full-frame and APS-C digital cameras. This is the SMC Pentax FA645, 45-85mm, f4.5, medium format zoom lens. Mounted to the Photo Deox, Pro TLT Roker, 3-axis tilt shift lens adapter for Nikon, Canon, Fujifilm, and Sony, it is a combination capable of producing outstanding image quality, exceeding many OEM fixed focal length options at a mere fraction of the price. Images rendered, using today's high megapixel digital cameras, show unparalleled corner-to-corner -corner sharpness, with virtually imperceptible variation in contrast or vignetting, across all aperture and shift settings. Released in 1999, the Pentax 645, 45-85mm lens has a current retail list price of US$2,399. Used copies listed on eBay, and designated mint condition, can be purchased for as little as $300. Lenses graded as excellent condition, offer savings of up to 90% over the new lens price. Initially produced and assembled in Japan, Later copies are assembled in Vietnam. Build quality and optical performance of both versions are considered equal. The lens mount is specific to the Pentax 645 medium format system and can be adapted to mirrorless Sony, Nikon, Fujifilm, and Canon bodies via Photodeox, Kippen, and generic adapters. Retailing for 219 US dollars, the Photodeox Pro TLT Roker is the only option that provides tilt-shift functionality. Constructed with 11 elements in 9 groups, with 8 diaphragm blades, the Pentax 645 45-85 lens is designated a normal zoom for medium format and maintains a constant aperture of f4.5. The minimum focus distance is 50 centimeters. Weighing 815 grams, the lens measures 85 by 99.5 millimeters. The filter size is 77 millimeters. Mounted to the Photo Deox adapter, the combined weight is 1,084 grams and the mounted length is 142 millimeters. The bayonet mount plastic lens hood is somewhat large. Weighing 140 grams and measuring 14.4 centimeters in diameter, with a depth of 9.8 centimeters, combined with the lens and adapter, the mounted length is 240 millimeters. Pentax's SMC Super Multi Coating features on both FA and A lens variants. Pentax claims that SMC is a remarkable seven layer lens coating process that cuts the reflection ratio down to just 0.2% per lens surface. The result is a dramatic improvement in both color fidelity and brightness, and the elimination of flare and ghost images. Photodeox's Pro TLT Roker Pentax 645 to E-mount adapter specifications state a total shift range of 20 mm. As tested, the actual range of shift movement equates to 31 mm. From center, 15 mm positive and 15 mm negative shifts move in increments of approximately 1 mm, although accurate positioning is somewhat imprecise, and ease of use is compromised given the weight of the mounted lens. Unsighted, there is no discernible stop for the zero shift position. Tilt adjustments of up to 10 degrees are possible. Although the brass tilt adjustment knob is small and inadequate, pre-setting of exact positions can be difficult, and the lens has a tendency to tilt under its own weight, unless the tilt knob is firmly tightened. At zero shift, the adapter functions as a simple bridge between the camera and lens. There are no electronic contact points. The adapter can be rotated 360 degrees through the mount and weighs 268 grams, measuring 10.5 by 9.3 centimeters. For precise applications, setup is best suited to tripod mounting due to the operational limitations in the shift and tilt mechanisms. The lens build quality is excellent subjectively surpassing many modern polycarbonate bodied lenses. The lens barrel and mount are of solid metal construction, with rubberized aperture and focus rays. 
The lens hood and lens cap are made of high quality plastics. The aperture ring rotates precisely with discernible clicks marking f-stops. The front mounted mechanical focus ring and mid mounted zoom ring rotate smoothly, holding set positions accurately with no detectable zoom or focus creep. The large diameter focus ring rotates through 90 degrees with a fluidity that makes obtaining precise focus accurate, even when handheld. This is a fully manual controlled system when adapted to full frame and APS-C digital cameras. The autofocus setting, which would otherwise be activated by pushing the lens focus ring forward, and automatic aperture control setting, serve no function in this configuration. Lens functions that rely on electronic communication with the camera body, including auto exposure metering and image stabilization will also be disrupted. EXIF data is not transferable. The Photodiox tilt shift adapter is machined to precise tolerances. The lens and camera mounts exhibit no play when mounted, and light leaks are undetectable. The adapter barrel is machined from aluminium, lens and camera mounts are made from chrome-plated brass. There are no optical components. The Photodiox lens release mechanism can be unintentionally engaged with light pressure. It is advised to regularly check that the lens and adapter are securely fastened. Neither the lens nor the adapter are weather sealed. There is an often cited misconception that a crop factor need be applied to a lens focal length when adapting medium format lenses to full frame sensors. This is fundamentally incorrect. Lens focal length does not change relative to sensor size. A 55mm focal length remains 55mm, regardless of sensor size application. Crop factor adjustments apply only to determining a lens angle of view, whereby the angle of view is dependent upon both the focal length of the lens and the size of the camera sensor. In this application, no crop factor is applied when a medium format lens is mounted to a full frame camera. The suitability of Pentax's 45 to 85 mm medium format lens to tilt shift applications when adapted to full frame cameras is intrinsically tied to its oversized image circle. Measurements indicate an image circle in excess of 84 mm, exceeding the 67.2 mm image circle of Canon's excellent 24 mm TSE tilt shift lens, or the 42.7 mm image circle of many full frame lenses. Shifts of up to 40 mm, 20 mm rise and 20 mm fall are theoretically possible on full frame sensors. The 15 mm rise and fall physical limitations imposed by the Photodiox adapter serves to ensure the image remains sharpest throughout its movement and that vignetting is perceptually absent. Tilt shift lenses are primarily used for architectural and product photography. However, the potential applications of these specialty lenses are vast, from urban landscapes to portraiture and street photography. For architectural photography, the lens shift function allows for the preservation of vertical lines in camera, avoiding parallax distortion which would otherwise occur when the lens is tilted on the vertical plane. Whilst photo editing software can adequately correct for minor perspective and parallax keystone distortion, there are significant limitations that can compromise image quality when major corrections are required. Notably, any significant software correction can result in a reduction of image quality and usable image size when maintaining a constant aspect ratio. For architectural applications, the Pentax's 45mm widest setting will prove limiting for use in smaller interior environments. Canon 17 and 24mm options are better suited. For exterior compositions, the Pentax's 45mm to 55mm range are notable for providing a normal level of compression and natural field of view that more closely matches what one sees in person. The Photodiox adapter provides up to 10 degrees of tilt functionality, enabling changes to the plane of focus to alter the depth of field and perspective. Used in product photography, it can be adjusted to keep objects both near and far in focus. It's an effect that cannot yet be reproduced in post-editing. The other often cited use for tilt applications is to create miniature effects. 
tilting the lens against the focal plane, creates a shallow depth of field to make real-life scenes look like a miniature scale model. Whilst novel, applications are limited. Cityscape time lapses are one of the better uses for this function. Vertical shifts enable one to raise or lower the horizon relative to the sensor's central focal point. Providing an additional element of manual control for framing the subject composition, the amount of empty foreground space can be significantly reduced, and more of the relevant subject matter can be captured, with minimal image distortion. Shifting the horizon also helps avoid the floating appearance when subjects are photographed from an elevated eye-level position, and appear higher in the image relative to the surrounding elements. Especially useful for street photography, and capturing images in tight spaces, the shift function allows one to get low and up close, whilst keeping the subject matter in frame. Perspective control lenses, with focal lengths falling between 28 and 35 mm, are better suited to street photography applications where inclusion of environmental elements is desired. Sometimes referred to as the frog perspective, or rat's eye view, positioning the camera closer to the ground and shifting the horizon can add drama and exaggerate the size of elements within a scene, creating unique images that are difficult to recreate in Photoshop. The shift function can also be used to capture overlapping images for merging as a panorama. Shifts of 24mm in portrait orientation render images with a 4 by 3 aspect ratio, capable of emulating Fujifilm and Hasselblad's medium format look, with significantly higher resolution. Utilizing Sony's 60.2 megapixel A7 R4 sensor, with 31mm of total shift, the effective panoramic image resolution increases to over 155.3 megapixels. In pixel shift mode, resolutions in excess of 621 megapixels can be achieved. A key advantage of panoramic shifted image stitching is the ability to use longer focal lengths to capture wider angles of view. This enables an increased depth of field for the same field of view. Images with 20 mm total shift captured with an 85 mm focal length on a full-frame sensor, provide the same effective angle of view as a 48 mm focal length, when stitched as a panorama. This is one of the key contributing factors giving rise to the medium format look. Characterized by a shallower depth of field, and higher perceived image compression, for the same equivalent full-frame lens angle of view. Reflections and obstacles, can be avoided or repositioned relative to the sensor's geometric center point, with use of the shift function. Shifting the lens allows for an image of a window or mirror to be captured, without the reflection of the camera or photographer. Shifting can also be used to photograph around an object, such as a building support, without producing an obviously oblique view. Whilst Photoshop's content-aware fill function has vastly improved, it is yet unable to fully replace backgrounds encompassing complex elements. A residual, yet relatively obscure advantage specific to shift function movements, is the ability to reduce lens flare. Where a strong light source is contained within a composition, pivoting the lens on the vertical axis, can increase the lens propensity to flare. Shifting the lens to encapsulate the same scene, helps increase the lens and sensor's angle of incidence relative to the light source. Flaring is minimized, and contrast improved. With an overall Pentax Forum user rating of 9.44, and 9.6 for sharpness, the SMC Pentax FA645 45-85mm f4.5, is among the highest rated of all mirrorless compatible, manual aperture controlled Pentax medium format prime and zoom lens offerings. Adapted to Sony's 60.2 megapixel A7 R4 full-frame digital camera, the lens performance is exceptional. At the widest aperture setting of f4.5, center sharpness is excellent across all zoom focal lengths. Unshifted, the lens remains sharp throughout the full aperture range, up to f32. At 100% magnification, image corners show little deviation in sharpness, with any perceptible variation corrected with only minor light trim adjustments. Adapted to full-frame digital cameras, the performance-to-cost ratio is astounding. 
this is a lens that can be used at any aperture setting, with minimal regard needed for image degradation. At shifts up to 10mm, sharpness remains uniformly strong, across all focal lengths. Viewed at 100%, minor softness in the corners becomes apparent for shifts beyond 10mm at 75 and 85mm focal lengths. For most applications, resolution fall-off is imperceptible. With shifts up to 15mm, sharpness is excellent in the 45 to 65mm focal range, and consistent with unshifted lens positions. The Pentax 645, 45-85mm lens, exhibits minor uniform linear barrel distortion, at 45 and 55mm focal lengths. Central perpendicular lines render straight and true. Top and bottom edges of the frame, exhibit around 3 degrees of correctable curvature. At 65mm, distortion is effectively eliminated. The absence of any perceptible pin cushion or moustache distortion, and the controlled uniformity in barrel distortion at shorter focal lengths, ensures suitability for architectural applications, where rendering of accurate geometric elements is deemed critical. Romanticized notions of a lens' unique color rendering are mostly dispelled when lighting variables are eliminated and capture settings aligned. Under controlled lighting conditions, with white balance, aperture, shutter speed and ISO settings matched, Pentax's 645 45-85mm lens color rendition is accurate, neutral, and indistinguishable. Most modern lenses should not exhibit any discernible color cast. With exception to lenses with thoriated glass elements or damaged coatings, any perceived visible difference in color rendering is more likely attributable to change lighting conditions, variations in film stock, or a digital image processor's interpolation of white balance relative to aperture, shutter speed, and ISO settings. Out of focus background bokeh rendering from Pentax's 8 diaphragm bladed 45 to 85 mm lens is aesthetically pleasing at 75 to 85 mm focal lengths, with an aperture setting of f4.5. Specular highlights render circles uniformly and consistently throughout the frame, with minimal distortion. Spherical aberrations are well controlled. The lens design tends towards overcorrection of aberrations, evidenced by more pronounced light gathering around the edges of the light circles. In layman's parlance, the effect is referred to as soap bubble bokeh and is highly desired. The maximum aperture setting of f4.5 limits the degree of bokeh rendering at wider focal lengths. Optical vignetting occurs naturally in all lenses. Illumination falloff is unavoidable as light rays at the periphery of the lens travel longer than those in the center. The physical design of a lens can also increase the extent of vignetting when the lens barrel partially blocks peripheral light rays at extreme angles. The effect becomes more pronounced when a lens is shifted. Unshifted, the large image circle of Pentax's 645, 45-85mm lens helps minimize the amount of optical vignetting across all aperture settings and focal lengths. Performance is excellent. Minor vignetting at wider aperture settings, toward the extreme edges of the frame, is eliminated with a 0.35 exposure value adjustment. When shifted, vignetting across the upper frame, becomes stronger between f4.5 and f6.3 aperture settings, due to barrel interference, and the acute angle of light relative to the sensor position. At f4.5, an exposure value adjustment of plus 1, corrects upper corner light fall off at the 45mm focal length. At aperture settings of f8 and above, vignetting is perceptibly eliminated, for all focal lengths. The Pentax's 645, 45-85mm lens light dispersion, is impressively controlled. Longitudinal chromatic aberration, and lateral transverse chromatic aberration, are effectively absent across all focal lengths and aperture settings. Color fringing in the red, green, blue, purple and magenta spectrums is not detectable. In high contrast scenes, minor yellow fringing becomes visible above 200% magnification. The effect can be eliminated in post-processing. 
Coma aberrations for light sources positioned at the corner of the frame, are visible at the 45mm focal length at f4.5. Stop down to f8 and f16, the effect is reduced, but not eliminated. For focal lengths ranging between 55 and 85 mm, coma aberration is absent at the widest f4.5 aperture setting. All lenses are intrinsically prone to flaring. Flaring occurs when direct or stray light reflects off internal lens elements, aperture blades or the camera sensor. Flaring can lead to glowing artifacts, patches of haze and low image contrast. It can also be used intentionally for artistic and creative effect. The Pentax 645, 45-85 mm lens, exhibits prominent flaring within the 65 and 85 mm focal range, at aperture setting f4.5. Stop down, the effect is reduced. Ghosting and reflections are pronounced. Strong veiling is evident, for light sources outside the lens field of view. Fitment of the lens hood helps reduce the extent of veiling, although the effect is not entirely eliminated. Sense of flare is not obvious. Is the SMC Pentax FA645 45-85mm f4.5 medium format lens and Photodiox Pro TLT Roka the perfect solution for full-frame tilt-shift lens applications? Most assuredly, it is not. The combination is large and heavy, all adjustments are manually controlled, there are no electronic connections between the camera and lens, EXIF data is not transferable, and the focal length is limiting for many applications. The adapter is difficult to position accurately, shift movements are abrupt, and fine precise adjustments are difficult to achieve. Zero shift is not clearly defined, the adapter has no numerical markings, and position indents are difficult to see. The tilt mechanism can move under the weight of the lens, the tilt locking screw is inadequate, and the lens release button can be unintentionally engaged. Accept the limitations, and this is a remarkable setup, capable of producing unique images. The performance to cost ratio is unrivaled. The optical quality of the lens is exceptional, surpassing many OEM, professional grade lenses of equivalent focal length, and out-resolving current dedicated tilt-shift options. The adapter's 31mm range of shift, significantly exceeds the 24mm limitation, of Canon and Nikon's tilt-shift lens offerings. Panoramic merging of shifted images produces detailed high megapixel files, far exceeding Fujifilm's and Hasselblad's medium format resolution. And the shift and tilt functions enable image manipulations that simply cannot be reproduced or corrected for in Photoshop without significant degradation to image quality. It is a setup that is operationally compromised and very highly recommended.